I couldn't make this live streaming work again, so I, I make a silly testing and uh, I couldn't make it work. It's not a real thing, but I'm sitting in my room in Avienda, Barcelona, 35. And I'm, I'm not even saying that right because it's spelled. I always say out in Ida. That's because it, it means ouch one Ida and Ida is a name. So I can remember that and in Barcelona everybody knows. So I can find my way home. But this is my place. And um, I wanted to tell you about who I am so that you can get to know me better. I think um, in order to gain trust between people you get to know you have to get to know each other and um, of course I I don't get to know you in the same way because uh, I don't interact interact with you like you can see me and I never get to oh pardon me I never get to see your face or you know, mimic. I think mimic is really, really important for for um, talking to people. Um, <clears throat> but I am a woman in my forties, uh, early forties. If you should have any doubts about that, I'm sorry. I have a son who's almost twenty. I am divorced. <coughs> I was uh, divorced in um, 09, but I moved away from my husband in 07. And I moved away because uh, he was uh, old fashioned. He uh, one day came to me and said, I worked our, all our problems out. And I said, well, let me hear. And he said, um, if each of us do what we're doing best, it's um, it's the way, and I was like, "What do you exactly mean?" And he was meaning if he do, did all the work outside, um, I could do all the work inside the house. And I was like, "No way, <laughs> no fucking way. We're living not in the stone age and i'm not doing that i'm an outdoor person and i hate cleaning i hate doing the dishes and i hate i just fucking hate housework i i hate everything about it i normally say everything that i i can keep on doing every day every week or every month it's something i don't like it's um it's like cleaning the windows, cleaning the floors, cleaning this. Sh oh my God, my hand isn't working. Cleaning the sheets, doing the dishes, uh, doing um, all washing except from horses. I don't even wash my car for God's sake. I can't see the point. And we use use salt for for safety reasons uh, in the winter. So. It the road doesn't have that much much ice and I don't care. I don't care. My car always looks like a dumpster and I don't care. I don't like my house to be messy, but my car, it can be as messy as it wants. If it doesn't clean itself, it's not going to be cleaned. I can clean it if I need a person inside it that can't fit in there. I can throw something out. But no way I want to clean that car and now my husband wanted me to stay in the house and be like a, not even in the 50s the women were doing that they were fighting to go to work and do things no way I couldn't do that sorry I couldn't also my uh, father-in-law he came and threw me out of the house one morning I was having a breakfast with my son he said uh, that the family has decided I couldn't stay any longer and I was like 
the family decided that I couldn't stay any longer. Pardon me, but um, last time I checked, I was married to your son. And uh, when you're married, you have um, you have equal rights. So if you are in your son's house, you are actually in my house. And and I have more to say in this house than you ever will have. And then he went away and I called my husband and he said, my father wouldn't do that. And I was like, your father wouldn't do that. Well, he's coming back when you get off work and um, you will see. And uh, his father, he did come back and my husband went to the stables uh, because he, um, he didn't want to be a part of that. Well, for better or for worse, I didn't get that and um, I just knew that I had to go. I, this uh, family will never accept me and um, that's why I left. They, um, yeah, sorry, I, I'm not sad because um, because I loved my husband. I'm sad that he stole 90,000 Danish kroner from me one and a half year later. But that's a whole another story. Um, I'm a sister. I have um, two brothers and one sister. I don't sp speak to any of them. Uh, my big brother, he's dead. He was a junkie. He, um, didn't get killed by the drugs directly, but uh, he stopped being a junkie for the last 10 years of his life. And um, uh, suddenly he didn't want to take any medications anymore and, and he, uh, he just passed away. He couldn't live without it. So 